those who do not get your pain of your body, we told you to stay back, but it seems like you have gone in a hurry. Have you gone back without your healing? How many of you have got all healed? Anyone has not got healed? Anyone is still having pain in your body? Or you don't want to share your testimony? What is it? What is the answer? Okay. All right. You have a problem. Okay. Sister, you, you, you finish this now. Okay. Those of you who have not finished, just wait. Just stay back. Okay. Now say this. Loving Father. <coughs> Loving Father. I'm speaking right now to the shoulder pain of my brother, to the spirit of infirmity in his shoulder. In the name of Jesus, I command right now all the pain in his right shoulder to get out of his body now. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I command right now all the muscles, all the bones, tendons, ligaments, tissues to be lubricated by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I command right now all the pain, all the discomfort to leave his body right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for performing this week's surgery in my brother's body and setting him completely free in Jesus name Amen 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 The centurion sent his servant to, to Jesus, not with his servant, but with a messenger for his servant to be healed miles away. Jesus only spoke the word and the centurion's servant was healed. And Jesus marveled the faith of the centurion. In the same way, this mama has come right now for a healing for a son. So right now, my sister and myself, with the Holy Spirit come into agreement for complete healing and restoration for a son's eyes. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we rebuke that spirit of infirmity in his eyes right now. And we command a creative miracle in his eyes. We command all the optic nerves, the cornea, the pupil, the, the retina to be completely healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Command this infirmity is dis completely destroyed, and this little child receive a brand new sight. A brand new sight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That even though this son of this mama is so far away, we speak the word by the authority given to us in Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right now, as we speak in agreement, you make this possible, Lord, that a son, wherever he is, he is receiving his healing his miracle in the name of Jesus we thank you Holy Spirit we thank you Jesus for this surgery for this healing in Jesus name Amen Amen so it's your faith believe it just thank the Lord for Amen. Amen. anyone else 
Okay, brother, what you have, what pain do you have? Come here. You have back pain. Okay. Since when you been having this back pain? Long time. Okay. Now is God going to heal you? Yes. You just walked in. See, until you agree with what God's word says, you will not be healed. You need to change your thinking in line with what God's word says. God's word says you have been healed, but you are saying, I miss you. <coughs> Is there a mismatch? God's word says you have been healed. You are saying God will heal you. Are there two matching? So either God has to change his mind and come to your thinking, or you change your mind and get to God's thinking, which you want to do. I'm going to God's thinking. God's thinking. So what does God's word say? That you have been healed. So you have been healed. You have been healed. You believe it. Okay. So close your eyes. Show him the screen. Show him the screen. Okay. Let, let him first see the screen. I want sir. you to see the screen first. And then what then, the scripture says. Okay. Did you see the scripture? We have put one more The yellow one. The one in the yellow. Yeah, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness. Righteousness. By, by whose streets you, you were healed. Okay? Now, you know what? Come stand here. When you stand here, okay? Waiting for healing. You know who's being glorified? You would rather prefer to stay in one small corner and get healed and then go. But you are coming in front right now, everyone watching you. Do you know who's getting glory right now? Who's getting the glory? Okay. Who will be glorified when you start walking away from this place completely? Who will be glorified? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, right? So you want Jesus to be glorified? So you are happy to be standing here and give God the glory? God's word says you have been healed. Right? You are still having a pain in your body. Have you changed your thinking in line with God's word and you believe it? So now we'll pray, not for God to heal you, but for you to receive that healing which you are believing. Alright? Close your eyes. Loving Father, I thank you and praise you for this prayer. He's been in pain, he's been in discomfort. But right now, in the name of Jesus, he has understood that he doesn't need to ask for healing because Jesus, you have already carried his pain, his discomfort in your body in the cross. So right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm speaking to the spirit of infirmity in this brother's body, especially his back pain. I'm speaking to every bone in his body, especially his disc, spine, pelvic bone. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I command all the bones of his back to be aligned now. Yes, I command all the bones of his back to go back to their rightful position in the name of Jesus. All these bones that have shifted causing this brother pain, causing this brother discomfort. I command it by the power of the Holy Spirit to go back right now in their rightful position by the power of the Holy Spirit. I command right now every muscle, ligaments, tissue, tendon, cartilage to be loosed. Yes, we lose right now. Be loosed by the power of the Holy Spirit. I command right now in the name of Jesus, every part of your body, especially these muscles and ligaments which are so tight, to be loosed, relaxed, released right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. And in the name of Jesus, I command every part of your body, especially the parts that have been so much in pain, to be lubricated by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, and my brother, the Holy Spirit is right now performing in your body. He's performing in your body right now. And 
we are lining all those parts that have been affected by the power of the Holy Spirit right now. I command a creative miracle in your body, especially all the parts of your back which have been in pain, which have been afflicted. <coughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit, for performing this surgery and setting my brother completely free. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 I want you to do one thing. Put your hands up like a victory sign. Not that way. Give three jerks. Yeah, like a victory sign. Yeah, hurrah. Come on, that's it. Now check, check your pain now. Bend out, bend, bend up. Do the dance, do the jig, whatever. Where's the pain? It's okay. Uh, Really, I don't know what to say. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Not this way you want a partner to dance. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, but uh, really, I uh, I'm still am checking, but. Still I'm here. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you so much. Come on, let's give the Lord a round of applause. Okay. Brother, brother. Ask them to read that. Okay, brothers and sisters, can we read that scripture from Luke 13? Those, those who are having any kind of joint pain, back pain, <laughs> take this scripture. You know, there was a woman who was bent. You know, she, you ever seen anyone walking like this bent? Yes, yes, yes. She came to the synagogue on a Sabbath day. And you know what? When she came on the synagogue on the Oi. Sabbath day, she came for Oi. healing. But when Jesus saw her, she said, Woman, you are loosed of your infirmity. What did Jesus say? You are loosed of your infirmity. That's what he says. Woman, thou art loose from your infirmity. You are right now in the church. Jesus is saying to you right now, those of you having any pain in your body, any joint pain, if you're having a joint pain right now, the Lord is saying to you, not just to the woman, to the man as well. Because that day there was a woman, but if there's any man right now, the Lord is saying to you, you are loosed of your infirmity. What is the meaning of being loosed from your infirmity? You have been set free. Those of you are experiencing any joint pain now, I repeat, those of you are experiencing any joint pain now in your body, can you just stand up? Because I don't want any one of you to go back because that's not something that you want to leave with. It's not come to bless you. Is there anyone with joint pain? No one? Those of you who would put up your hands for healing to change your mind? You're not sure. If you've got any joint pain now, the word of God is saying, if you have any pain in your body, you are loosed of your infirmity, but the condition is you need to stand. And then you know, Brother, Georgie had his shoulder not healed. Who? George. His shoulder is not healed. It was not healed. It's finished. It's cleared up. It's cleared? Yes. Is there anybody else? Do you, do you know why I'm saying this? When you think only that word, woman, thou art loose, okay? Try it out with anybody who has got anything to do with bones. Tell that person, take a rosary, and on the rosary beads, and on the rosary beads, keep repeating, in the name of Jesus, I am loose of my infirmity. You will find people getting healed from any kind of bone problem. Because when you are saying, in the name of Jesus, I am loosed of my infirmity, you are not saying your words, you are saying, Jesus you are saying, Jesus is words. and remember, Jesus' words are the same <coughs> yesterday, today, and So when you are saying, in the name of Jesus, I am loosed from my infirmity, just like that woman, who had a spirit of infirmity that had made 
a cripple for 18 years in the same way no matter how many years we have been afflicted this word will set the person free Amen. praise god praise god, god. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So please use scriptures. Like my brother who was there, he got a lot of time. Then he said, I got healed. Now what does that mean? He could have gone back and sat down. And he could fight the battle again and again using the scriptures. So when a person fights the battle, the Bible says, Jesus says, the violent take the kingdom of God by force. So you must forcefully take the kingdom of God by exercising your faith. And remember every time you are exercising your faith, it has to be the word of God. And when it is the word of God, don't change the tense. The big problem that blocked this brother from receiving his healing is he believed in the future tense, God will heal me, and God was saying to him, I've healed you. I've healed you was spiritual evidence, God will heal me is expecting physical evidence. So they both were in a mismatch. But now, they both came into agreement when he renewed his mind and began to believe that he's already healed. So when he's believing he's already healed, remember the power is not going to come from outside to heal you. The power is already inside. Christ in you, the hope of glory. The anointing in you, the hope of glory. But this anointing gets activated <coughs> only when a person agrees to the word of God. So the real challenge is not, as a Christian, what can I get from God? The real challenge is, how much can I believe and agree with God? And that believing and agreeing and that fighting <coughs> that is going on in your mind is where you begin to grow your faith and you come to a moment when you have become so much matured in faith that now you are trusting in the faithfulness of God. Amen. 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 You know, for me, it was a great joy that I want Brother Vincent to do that. Why? Because here is God saying, we all can have a healing service. We all can have a deliverance service. It is only the practice. Practice of what? Exercising <coughs> our faith. Praise God. Amen. If we both are standing here, it's only because this is what the word says. This is what we want to exercise, our faith. And it is sometimes, some people did not get healed. But does that mean the word is wrong? The word is never wrong. It is we who are wrong and we need the correction. Hello? Yes. Remember this, the word can never go wrong. So what needs to change is not the word of God. What needs to change is me from my unbelief to faith. So even if it's taking time, take responsibility to change. Praise God. Praise and the quicker you change and agree and align with God's word, every day your life will be supernatural. So brothers and sisters, I'm sure many of you would want a lot of those outside who couldn't be there today to be healed, right? Do you have anybody in mind? Do you know your neighbors, your friends, somebody or another? Because tomorrow, we are going to have the night vigil. So you're going to have it from 11 right up to 7 in the morning on Sunday. I think, will there be mass? Yes, yes. Yeah, so 7 o'clock will be the mass. Saturday morning. night, huh? but don't, don't say Sunday. Saturday night, right? So tomorrow, there will be, the, 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 the vigil will start at 11, right up to Sunday morning at 7, which will end with the mass. So those of you can invite those who are sick, because you know what? It's not that we want to call you for healing, but we want you to understand how powerful the Word of God is. And what is the Word of God? The Word of God is no other than Jesus Himself. The Word became flesh. So all that we want to do is 
we want to attract you not with healing we want to attract you with the power of god which you will experience when you have a relationship with jesus through his word so please if you can go ahead and invite tell them that there's something happening in this church in felton on a saturday night right up to sunday they can hear the mass at the end but please bring everyone if you love those who are suffering and you want them to be healed please bring them here amen, amen. so let's all close our eyes can we all rise and do a closing prayer loving father we thank you and praise you for giving us this few hours listening to your word helping us to understand lord how powerful your word is how effective your word is that lord when we believe your word we are sure to receive all that your word says help us in the days to come as we come back tomorrow to study more to reflect more on all that we have heard so that when we go back to our respective homes to our respective lives after these two days of teaching we will never ever be the same again that we will be soldiers of faith fighting the good fight of faith and receiving all that your word promises us because your word says in John 10:10 10, 10, the thief comes to kill steal and destroy but you lord came so that we may have life and have it to the fullest you promised us a life of abundance a life walking in divine health a life walking with all our needs met so right now father if we are in any situation of our life in sickness in lack in anything missing your word is the answer help us in this two days to study to build our faith so that when we go back to our lives we will never ever be the same again we thank you and we praise you in jesus name amen amen, amen. amen. So see you all tomorrow at what time